Good afternoon, everyone. This is Shane, your nappy chef. I'm very excited. Today we're going to make tomato basil crawfish with capers. And I'm going to give you a second just to admire how beautiful and simple this dish is. really is. Ingredients, very simple. I'm going to get a pound of cooked crawfish meat, uh, some black pepper, some salt, green onions, some yellow cornmeal, and a generous amount of garlic powder. So you just want to mince your uh, crawfish gently. Uh, we're going to start taking the tops off of our green onions and you want to give them a rough chop and add them to your crawfish. Now here um, you want to go ahead and season. Go ahead and add all your seasonings. Be generous. You might even want to taste it to make sure that it has the kind of flavor you want. Unlike shrimp, crawfish can be a little bland. So you may even want to add a little bit of cayenne pepper and give it extra kick. Now we're going to season our cornmeal with our salt, black pepper, a little paprika, maybe add a little bit of cumin in there. And you're going to add boiling hot water a little bit at a time to start making a paste out of your cornmeal and seasoned mixture. And you want to keep testing it, adding a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't get too soupy. Once you have a good amount, a good paste, a good consistency, go ahead and add your crawfish mixture and you're just going to begin to fold uh, the seafood and the uh, cornmeal together. And we're, we're almost done. You want to form little uh, fritters uh, that fit into about the palm of your hand. And once you get a little ball, you kind of want to flatten it out a little bit to form a, a disc so that once you fry it, uh, the center gets cooked all the way through too. Is that look good? Real easy. Alright. So, that's what the finished product is going to look like. Now, I've been cooking in soybean oil, and I found that it's a very light taste. It doesn't really add anything uh, to whatever you're uh, frying, and it doesn't take away from it either. So, if you can find it, I highly recommend giving it a try. And we're done. You're just going to get a, a bed of basil and uh, some fresh uh, tomatoes, plum tomatoes, add some capers, and put some red cabbage in or some red onions. I kind of regret I didn't do that. It would have given it a great look, but just like this, uh, it's fantastic. So, this is Shane, your nappy chef. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's that little square button right there in the, the corner. So go ahead and click that now so that you can get some more of these great recipes.